friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life. Today I have a special treat for you. This is a milk box gift box tutorial using the We Are Memory Keepers punch board and it's super easy, super simple to do and let me show you real quick what we are going to be using in this tutorial. We are going to need our paper trimmer, we are going to need our scoreboard and some double-sided tape and the uh where did it go oh yeah here it is okay and we are going to need this gift bag punch board the dimensions that we are going to be using are we're going to we're going to be using obviously a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock or scrapbook paper and you don't want it to be flimsy okay you don't want it to be so thick that when you fold the paper it's going to tear along the sides and yeah you don't want to do that okay just kind of like a medium good quality paper not flimsy and not thick thick okay so we're going to cut our paper to 10 by 7 and a half, and then you'll see. All righty. Okay. So there we have it. And our paper trimmer is going to go bye-bye. Okay. Let me put this off to the side. And now we're going to take our punch board. And we're just basically going to... Um, go by what the instructions say and now we are going to start right here at the starting line right along here okay so we start at the starting line and what we do is we punch okay then we score and then we score right along the S because the measurements, my 10 inch measurement is for the small size, okay? I didn't want to make it larger than that. So now that I've done that, I'm going to take this next line and I'm going to line it up here. Alrighty, we punch. I should bring this closer to me and I'm sorry if I'm off frame. We're going to go here, here, and here, and we are going to score on the part that says side and then right along there, okay? So now we are going to take this next line, the last line that we just scored, and we are going to line it up with that little thingamajiggy just to show you what I'm lining it up with right here, this little peak or something. Okay, that's the little edge that you want to be lining up against. So we are going to, let's see, I punch. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to score horizontally. And then I'm going to score once again where the S is for Super Sandy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't feel like Super Sandy. <laughs> Okay, so there we go, and we're going to do our triangle, our triangle, our this, our that, and right over here along the side. Okay, and over here, we're going to take that last line that we just did, and we are going to punch there. Okay. So this goes in the trash, and where did my scissors go? Here we go. Alrighty, so now we are going to take a little thingamajiggy off of there, and there we go. So now, the next thing that you want to do is, you want to take your paper, and you want to fold it along that scoring line. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's fold, fold, fold like so and like so and like so and this is what you have okay now we are going to take our scoreboard alrighty we're going to take our paper like this and we are going to square it out 
right over here. Alrighty. And the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to score at four inches. Make sure that is squared out correctly. And we're going to go right along the four inch mark. Alrighty. So our paper looks like this. We're going to put our scoring board away. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our paper bag punch or gift bag punch, okay, and see where we punched right along these lines. We are going to follow that, okay? We are going to follow that. So over here, we are going to line that up and punch. Let me bring it closer to me. And right over here, we are lining up. There we go. Wait, it's not lined up correctly. There. Nope. There. Yep. Okay. And punch. And over here, we are lining it up. Is it lined up? There we go. Punch. And the last one, we are lining up. And Oops, I'm off. There we go. Punch. And we are left with this. Okay? Now we can put this away. Put that away. Hopefully it won't fall from there. Okay. So now what we are going to do is, oops, nope, nope, nope. I have one more. One more. See, I want this to look nice and neat like these. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line it up against the starting line alrighty and punch there we have it okay there we go and now what we are going to do is we are going to get rid of this little thing just like um, I did over here I was gonna say just like we did over there but you know what y'all haven't seen that okay there we go and there we go. Okay, so we have this. The next thing that we are going to do here is we are going to take this line right here. See these lines? We are going to take this space that we just punched and we're going to take it in a little bit deeper, but we are going to stop where this line meets that line, that T, that's where we're going to stop. So we're going to cut and we are going to cut and we are going to cut. Okay, so now we have this. Let's go ahead and fold right along there. We do not want to do anything with the smaller ones. You're going to have a line here, but just leave it, leave it as is, okay? Don't do anything with that because those lines were intended or are intended for the, um, the gift bag, okay? So we don't want to mess with that. We're going to go like this. And this very last line, we are going to go like so, okay? So this is pretty much it. And now we are going to put our uh, milk carton together. Let me get some double-sided tape. There we go. And we are going to go here. Some tape there. And Decide which is going to be your bottom piece. And I've decided that this one is going to be my bottom piece. And I'm going to put some tape on that bottom piece, which is there. And there. Okay. Sorry about that. So now we are going to take this. Whoops, let me do it from here. 
There we go. Okay, and we are going to put it together. I should probably do it like this, huh? See, I told you there must have been a better way to do this, and there we go. There we go. That did it. I'm going to take this just to kind of like press down on it. Alrighty. Oh, you know what I did? My piggies are going to be upside down. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> My piggies are going to be upside down. <laughs> it's okay. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, they're just roasted pigs. How about that? <laughs> Alrighty. So we close this and there we go oops sorry I moved the laptop okay and we fold one make sure that they're nice and folded fold the other <laughs> upside down pigs and I was being so careful <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Whoever gets this, you will know that I tried. Okay? This video is proof that I tried to get it right. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. So you put your goodies on the inside. Alrighty. And what I'm gonna do over here, I wanna do something here. I should have done this before, but there's kind of like a tiny little lip hanging from there. I'm just going to get rid of it just ever so gently, just kind of like strip off a little bit. I mean, it's not much. And over here as well, I suppose. There we go. It's not that much. I'm going to do that. We're going to do this one over here. Just, we're getting rid of that little lip. Or whatever you might want to call it. Okay. There we go. And there's nothing there. Okay. So, we are going to, for the sake of this tutorial, make believe that I have stuffed it with goodies. Or candy or whatever. And now, what we are going to do is, um, I'm holding it together with, first I'm applying one of these glue dots. You can pretty much find these anywhere. Okay. And what I like about the glue dots is that they, they adhere, but it's not like a permanent thing. But they adhere long enough to enclose this okay you can use your glue dots and what you can also use is let's see I'm down to my last one these you can get from the dollar spot and you can do something like this and include a little note on whatever and then you can embellish it let's go ahead and embellish this how about it alrighty there we go and, um, hmm, hello, should we put a little gem here? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, it doesn't stick, okay. Um, I want to put something over here. Thanks and hello, no, that doesn't go well. But, oh, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, how about the amper? This is the amper sign, right? Should I put it here? Sure. Why not? Okay. Amper. So over here, what I'm going to do is I am going to 
use a piece of scrap, okay? Piece of scrap, and let's get to, whoops, ignore that, <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> And we are going to take some my enjoy stamp. I'm gonna say enjoy, joy, joy, enjoy, because it's gonna say enjoy and hello or hello and enjoy. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put this away. And my scissors, where did they go? Right here. And I'm just going to cut this right along there. And right along there. Right along there. And right along there. And we are done! Ta-da! What did you think of this tutorial? Easy peasy, aren't these cute? I love making these. Yes, so give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed my video and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I do have more tutorials along the way. Hi friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life. Today I'm sharing with you a milk carton carrier box tutorial. I loved creating my milk carton treat boxes so much that I decided to turn them into a set of four and with a set of four I could do a milk carton carrier. The dimensions are going to be to fit the milk carton treat boxes that I made in my previous tutorial using the We Are Memory Keepers punch board and uh, it's a lot of fun. They're quick and easy to make and I hope that this video will inspire you in creating your very own happy mail, snail mail, or gift giving milk carton treat boxes along with their carriers. Okay friends, we're going to take an 11 by 10 piece of cardstock. You want a good quality cardstock, not flimsy, not, um, not too thick, okay? And preferably double-sided, but since I don't have double-sided in this collection, I'm just going to go with this. So what I'm going to do is... I've cut my 11 by 10 and I am going to score at two and a half inches all the way around. And the reason I'm turning it to the lighter side is so that I'll be able to see my score marks. Okay, so now that we have our score marks, this right here is going to be the base, and these up here is going to be the flaps that come up like so. Now, here is something really neat about this design is that before you fold your paper, you may want to go ahead and do something to the edges, work something around the edges, and I'm going to use one of my paper punches to make a cute little edge all around my milk carton caddy. Now keep in mind that when you choose your paper punch, if you are going to decorate around the edges of your milk carton caddy, um, keep in mind that this is only going to be two and a half inches tall. So you even though you may want to go with an amazing design such as this, okay, this design is going to be about an inch wide. So you have to take that into consideration how far down you're going to be cutting into your caddy. So that is why I'm choosing the smaller design. And I believe this is called the lace design. It's a Martha Stewart punch. And you're just basically going to line it up and start punching. 
Okay, so now that you have all of your edges cut, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to fold the paper and just pass your bone folder, but you're going to fold the paper on all the edges, not all the edges, you're going to fold your paper right along all of your score marks. And there we go, just like that. So this is what you end up with. You end up with this nice base. You are going to take your corner edges, okay? See these two edges? And just basically fold it like so. You're gonna hold it together. And with your thumb and index finger, on your other hand, you are just going to press these right along. You might want to turn this over to make sure that this edge is on real good. See, you're coming along. Uh, you come out with something like this, okay? And we want to do that on all four edges. Oh yes, and another thing, what you didn't see me do on the video is before I started folding along my marks, what I did was I went around all four corners and kind of nipped, did, ran a little nip with my scissors, kind of like to round off each and every single corner. Okay, so now that we have this, like this, we are going to put it to the side. We don't do anything else with it for now. Okay, now for this piece right here, I'm going to this was cut, this piece right here was cut at 5 and 6 eighths by 10 and 3 eighths. But since I'm going to make it a little bit more shorter, a little bit shorter than that, I should say, I'm going to cut this piece at 5 and 6 eighths by 10. Also, I'm going to cut two pieces at 5 and 6 eighths by 10 because this is a um, one-sided paper and I want... I actually want both sides to show. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scoreboard one more time. And I am going to score at two and a half on both sides. And two and a half. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add double-sided tape to both of these pieces, double-sided tape to here, to here, and then I'm going to piece these two pieces together. After I, p I put these two pieces together, what I'm going to do, and this is totally up to you, you can use a paper punch if you wish, or you can use a die. Um, let me show you. You can use a paper punch if you wish, or you can use a die to make a pretty design right along here. And if you don't have either, you could maybe do a half a circle here, half a circle there, however you like. Whatever it is that you have with you in your supplies, you can use. And um, to make this part right here, I used a Tim Holtz die. And to make the this part right here, kind of like, you know, a handle type of thing, I used a die from Spellbinders. So I will be right back. And once you have taken care of the initial cut for your handle, you can pair that with a smaller cut. If you don't have die cuts, uh, a die cutting machine, you can use a paper punch. Use a circle paper punch to put a circle right along there. What I am going to use, I love using these. I'm gonna go ahead and use this die to cut through both papers right along there. You just kinda wanna eye, uh, eye measure it right there. 
Let me take a look at this to make sure it's just where I want it. Okay, now I'm going to take it to my die cutting machine. Okay, so now that we have our die cut and this, you can save it for something else, perhaps uh, another tag for your milk cartons. Now that we have our die, uh, our die cuts, we are ready to put place our handle inside our box. And then after we do our handle in the box, that's when we close. So um, let me go ahead and add my, let's see, I'm going to need tape here and tape on the outside. So let me add the tapes to my box. And we're going to do one like so. That takes care of this part right here, but we also got to take care of this part. So now we are going to turn this over. Okay, so we have this. It's going to be facing this way. Let's ensure that I'm in the right. Yep. Okay, and basically what we're going to do is, since this is going to be smaller than this actual rectangle, you just pretty much want to eyeball it as far as the measurement is concerned, as far as you want it centered, but just go ahead and eyeball it. So we're going to remove that one there. Okay, we are good. All righty. That was easy. Make sure that, yep, yep, plenty of room for the milk cartons. Okay, so now that we have this up here, let me erase it. Sorry about that. I'm using my laptop today. Let's go ahead and peel here and peel here and fold here and fold here. That's our first fold. Yay! Mm -hmm. There it is, our milk carton caddy. I'm so excited, I am loving this. So this is where we're gonna put our cute little milk carton treat boxes that I made for a friend. And I have one more box to make. And, oh my gosh, I am so loving this. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think? I have one more milk carton to make. And, um, yeah, I, I wanted to make that last milk carton in front of y'all because remember when I made my little piggies and I was being so careful and they still came upside down? <laughs> <laughs> I was being careful of them not coming out sideways, but they came out upside down. I know how to fix that now. So I have already cut the paper that I want to use for my last milk carton, if I could find it. Come on, come on. Okay, I have already cut the paper to how I need to cut it. I believe it was what, 10 by seven and a half, I believe. I think if not, I'll go ahead and just link you to my tutorial on how to make these cute treat boxes. So this is what I failed to do the last time. Okay, see my design? 
in order for your design to come out right, you're holding it like this, okay? Now you're going to turn it upside down. Just like that. And then you do your cuts, okay? So I might speed up this video to show you how it comes out. And uh, yeah, that's the thing that I failed to do with my piggies. And then I finally figured out, I was like, ah, oh, you should have turned it upside down. is that how cute is that what do y'all think I just love making these I think these make for a perfect um, display or presentation for gift giving you could do these at wedding showers and you know what these would be perfect for oh my gosh these would be perfect for um, do y'all do secret Santas, like go around the neighborhood and drop a package off for a secret Santa to your uh, best neighbor or friend or whatnot? If uh, during Christmas time, you could just leave the milk carton and caddy with the milk carton boxes at the door, ring the doorbell and take off running. <laughs> but these... <laughs> excuse me but these would be awesome for that secret santa or even halloween for your favorite neighbor or best friend or whatnot and perfect for gosh baby showers baby showers yes and so and and just plain fun gift giving i love making these i hope that you have enjoyed my tutorial and i hope that i have inspired you in making uh some of your very own milk carton gift boxes along with your milk carton caddies and yeah if you have any questions just post them in the comments section below and i will see y'all again real soon okay thank you for watching bye now